at least 20 people have been confirmed dead following the collapse of a building in Ikoyi, Lagos. Nine others are receiving treatment in hospital. Hilary Onoroka brings us up to speed on the rescue effort. Digging continued on Tuesday morning as rescue workers searched for persons trapped under the rubble of the 21-story building that collapsed the day before. This was the moment two more people were rescued. An ambulance quickly drives them away to the hospital. The general manager of the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, Femi Oke Osointolu, assures that no one would be left behind. I need to assure all of you that we are on top of the challenges. The operation is still ongoing, it's light. All the top echelons in Lagos State are on the ground. Nobody is sure about the number of people still trapped, and this is why. Like I said, it's a construction site. People come in. We understand also that some people came in just to inspect. Maybe they wanted to buy or something like that. So we don't know the number because so because people are just coming in. So we are not sure the number. The collapsed building is one of three towers being developed on the site. The deputy governor discloses that an integrity test will be carried out on the others. He also debunks reports that the collapsed building had approval for only 15 floors. This particular one was approved for 21 floors, it's not 15. The second building will also be audited in terms of integrity test. And of course, if we find anything, then the appropriate action will be taken. It's important to also announce that we have an agency that's supposed to do this job. And that's why they came in around July to check. And when they saw the anomalies, they shut the site down. So the rescue effort is continuing into the night and may last days. Hilary Noroka for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.